Good evening. I'm uh, Berkey Jennings, the chairman of the Alexander County Commission, and I'm uh, prepared to deliver the State of the County message for 2012. I appreciate the opportunity to deliver the State of the County message for 2012 to the citizens of Alexander County. The State of the County was extremely challenging in 2012, despite a dismal economy with high unemployment there were a number of positive and negative trends indicating the road ahead. During 2012, the Alexander County Economic Development Corporation reports the unemployment rate in Alexander County continued the three-year cycle of improvement. In 2009, the average monthly unemployment rate was 13.7%. In 2010, the average monthly employment rate was 13.3%. In 2011, the average monthly employment rate was 11.4%. In 2012, the average monthly employment rate was 10.1%. 2012 also marked the first year since 2008 that the average number of people unemployed was less than 2,000. And conversely, the first year since 2008 that the number of employed persons was higher than 16,000. In addition, Alexander County's monthly average employment rate for 2012 was the lowest among the uniform counties. There's still room for much improvement, but employment is moving in the right direction. The Alexander County Economic Development Corporation Buy Local campaign was kicked off in early October as one effort to fill some of the void that was left by the closing of the local Chamber of Commerce. The campaign was undertaken in conjunction with the Citizens for the Future of Alexander County. One component of the campaign is the production of business spotlight videos. Currently, there are 10 videos available on EDC's YouTube, YouTube channel, which has been viewed 1,044 times. These videos are also viewed on the Alexander County government channel. Another component is the Buy Local Facebook page, which currently has 395 likes or fans. This Facebook page is a great tool to dis disseminate information and received a lot of positive feedback from the community. The EDC is also a Twitter account, which currently has 158 followers. Working in cooperation with the GIS division, the D EDC has published complete business listings for local restaurants as well as gas stations and convenience stores. These lists have been posted on the EDC's website and shared via social media. A complete list of retail businesses is nearing completion as well. The Buy Local campaign is making a difference in Alexander County as we strive to support our local merchants and boost sales tax revenues to benefit the county and our schools. Alexander County was selected by the Golden Leaf Foundation to participate in their Community Assistance Initiative, which offers the opportunity for grants up to $2 million. This process has been underway since September of 2012, involving a series of public meetings with Golden Leaf staff and representatives from community and government organizations. This process resulted in the selection of four grant proposals which will be submitted to the Golden Leaf Foundation for a funding decision. These four grant grants total approximately $3 million in total cost. One of the proposals is related to the expansion of CVCC, which was made possible by the commissioner's decision to purchase buildings and land adjacent to the existing facility. A second proposal is for the construction of, of an industrial speculative building, the purpose of job creation. A third proposal is to provide funds for Alexander Central High School Technology, and the fourth project is, is for funding a town of Taylorsville Wastewater Project. All four of these projects are important for economic and workforce development. The Golden Leaf Foundation Board of Directors will make the final decision in May regarding which grant proposals, if any, receive funding. In October 2012, the Alexander County Board of Commissioners purchased 24 acres and two buildings located across from the CVC uh, Alexander campus and adjoining property of the new law enforcement and deten detention center for $1.8 million. 
This property will be used for the expansion of CZ CVCC Alexander Center and future county offices. Dr. Garrett Henshaw, CVCC president, reported the CVCC Alexander Center will consist of t technical vocational training such as welding, industrial maintenance, machining and upholstery, workforce development training, workforce-led certifications, leadership, and a college transfer program. Dr. Brock Womble, Alexander County School Superintendent, Milton Campbell, Board of Education member, Roy Calcane, CEO and President of Craftmaster Furniture, John Watts, CVCC, Board of Trustees member, Hank Bird, President of Snyder Mills, Bud K. Wood, K. Wood Studios Freelance Furniture Design Consultant, and member of the CVCC Alexander Center Advisory Board all spoke in favor and supported the new partnership between Alexander County, CVCC, and Alexander County Schools. The new Alexander County Law Enforcement and Detention Center project is complete. The facility cost $8.5 million to construct. The new detention facility designed by Hemphill Randall Associates is modeled after the Ash County Detention Center, which was completed in 2010 and currently cost $1,009,807 to operate. The Ash County facility has 164 beds, the same as Alexander County's new facility. Same design and with the same architect. The Ash County facility operates with 19 employees. 10 new employees were approved for the new detention facility. New furniture and shelving was purchased for the new law enforcement center at a cost of $76,000. $78. The Office of Emergency Services has the responsibility, excuse me, the responsibility of fire, marshal, and emergency management for the county. In the past year, the Office of Emergency Services has had 10 emergency management responses ranging from severe weather, meth labs to missing or lost persons. On the far side, we have conducted 357 state mandated fire inspections and responded to 24 requests for fire investigations and complaints. Our office, along with volunteer fire departments, assisted with a statewide tornado drill conducted at all, law, at, at all local schools. We continue to work with schools and law enforcement concerning school safety. This office has participated in three exercises to improve our local emergency preparedness. On March 1, 2012, we coordinated and served as a point of contact for a three-county exercise. This involved all local emergency services and was paid for 100% by federal grant. A set, second exercise was hosted by a neighboring county, which consisted of a tabletop exercise at Tyson's Food in Wilkesboro on March 22, 2012, also funded by a grant. Our third exercise was, a local, was local and was conducted on August 13, 2012 at a hazardous, hazardous materials facility and was also grant funded. In the past year, the Office of Emergency Services have received a mass casualty incident trailer and 45 KW trailer mounted generator, both funded by Homeland Security grants, secured as staff works with the Domestic Preparedness Region 8. Alexander County's Emergency Services Director serves on the State Regionalization Subcommittee of the State Emergency Response Commission. Our eight local volunteer fire departments were dispatched to 3,538 calls. Bethlehem Fire and Rescue completed construction and now occupies a new fire station located at 7373 North Carolina Highway 127 in Taylorsville. Two fire departments have had an insurance services office review which resulted in a rating improvement for the Wittenberg community which will cause a reduction in insurance premiums. The Alexander County Rescue Squad was dispatched to, uh, to 2,954 calls. They have upgraded equipment with new water rescue craft and a new tow vehicle provided by grants from manufacturers. In 2012, Alexander County Emergency Medical Services ran 5,752 total calls for assistance. There were 3,790 
patient transports, total miles driven in EMS vehicles was 180,499 miles. EMS personnel attended a combined total of 2,250 hours of training. Alexander County EMS is now submitting data on cardiac arrest calls into the National Carriers Register to help improve the chances of survival of these victims. Alexander County EMS is an active partner in the RACE program with Fry Regional Medical Center to improve patient care in victims who suffer a heart attack. Patients are gaining faster access to the cardiac cardiology team at Fry Regional. The Alexander County Health Department offers residents a variety of services to help address the needs of our community. The department was awarded full accreditation status in 2012 by the North Carolina Local Health Department Accreditation Board. Accreditation is achieved by approximately meeting a set of capacity-based benchmarks as evidenced by documented completion of prescribed activities. This accreditation status reflects the department's commitment of quality care to our local citizens. Along with all policy elements, they also offer an adolescent dental clinic which serves 1,584 children last year alone. The service was started in 2005 to address an identified need in the community and has been very successful. The department also houses an internal home health agency. The agency currently offers care to approximately 325 residents yearly. Our home health agency, agency provides skilled nursing services, infusing nursing, pe pediatric nursing, medical social work services, and physical, occupational, and speech therapy. The health department completed an in-depth quality improvement campaign in 2012, focusing on improving patient care and direct financial savings. The changes implemented in the program allow staff more time for direct client contact by reducing burdensome documentation activities. The agency also worked to obtain grant funding to help purchase a new state-of-the-art ultrasound system. The new equipment increases the quality of care available to our maternity clients locally. The health department continues to work diligently to address their focus areas of fam fam healthy families, mental health, and substance abuse and access to health care as well as meeting their mission of achieving a, of, of, of achieving a family, excuse me, as achieving a healthy community by protecting and promoting public health through education, training, and provision of health services and advocacy. The Alexander County Department of Social Services experienced a number of challenges during 2012. The five-year trend of increasing number of citizens needing public assistance has continued. Over the past five years, including 2012, the number of households eligible for food and nutrition services has increased by 50%, and the number eligible for Medicaid has increased by 8%. Approximately 18% of the entire population of the county is receiving Medicaid coverage and services. These increases have been amplified by additional undertakings that the department has and will continue to face, including transition to the automated NC FAST system and the unknown impacts of health care reform. High case loads and additional program requirements have caused the staff to work long hours in order to ensure receipt of benefits by our citizens who are unemployed, underemployed, disabled, elderly, and needy. The Social Services Department has seen a significantly growing need for transportation to and from Medicaid appointments, as well as the addition of more regulations and requirements, i.e. more paperwork and phone calls to verify trips from the Division of Medical Assistance. Without any additional staff, the agency has absorbed the scheduling of 3,524 Medicaid appointments and also provided 1,761 Medicaid transport gas vouchers to citizens between February and December of 2012. DSS has received $49,420 reduction of funding for combined crisis and low-income energy assistance programs for the fiscal year 2012-2013. And all funds are depleted for the current fiscal year. 
child care funding was reduced and the need was increased, thus causing the department to have to maintain a waiting list for citizens who need assistance for subsidized child care from August of 2012 to, to present. The department anticipates an additional $50,000 reduction in child care funding for fiscal year 2013-2014. The DSS agency absorbed a significant amount of court filing fees over $4,000 that were not anticipated or budget, budgeted for this fiscal year, 2012-2013. And there is current legislation, Senate Bill 385, which would add additional court filing fees to the coming year's budget. DSS was responsible for two adult guardianship cases for a number of years prior to 2012. They received guardianship of five additional adults during 2012, bringing the total number of, of cases they were responsible for to a total of seven, a 350% increase in this particular program. The two adult protective services social workers that carry the guardianship cases additionally administer six other programs. The most striking data is the child welfare area involving, involving foster children. Alexander County DSS has 44 ch children in foster care in January of 2012 and 46 children in foster care in December of 2012. These numbers are not compelling at first glance, but 16 children entered custody during that time and 14 children exited custody. The agency, as well as the parents and custodians of the children they serve, experience great difficulty accessing appro appropriate mental health services, specifically including high level, high needs placements. Children requiring psychiatric residential treatment facilities were most frequently placed out of state an average of six children per month were placed in therapeutic or higher level placements, and higher numbers of children in custody were noted to require psychotropic medications. On a more positive note, DSS was able to finalize 11 adoptions during 2012 and anticipates finalizing at least 10 more adoptions by the end of 2013. The agency experienced significant turnover during 2012, losing 12 employees or 18% of the total staff. Only two of the employees who left DSS retired and 58% of those leaving were employed in child welfare. However, they feel compelled to note that the new staff has, that has been hired are excellent and the management staff who have weathered the storm have been and are awesome employees and representatives of the county and managers. As was recently reported to the Board of County Commissioners, DSS has received numerous positive monitoring results during the fiscal year 2012-2013 to include a DMA monitoring of Medicaid programs, a federal 4E foster care monitoring, a statewide data re re reliability audit and child support, a Carolina Center of Medical Excellence monitoring of the community alternatives programs, as well as receiving no specific exceptions in the single county audit. While the challenges were many, the Alexander County Department of Social Services would deem its accomplishments to have been successful in 2012. Great opportunity lies ahead for physical management in the face of reduced funding and growing need. We are told that child care, home, and community care block grant, temporary assistance to needy families, child support incentives, 4E funding for CPS in-home services will all be reduced for the coming fiscal year. The department pledges, pledges faithful and true services to the citizens of the county, it inhibited only by the resources made available to it. Veteran services continue to serve the veterans and their dependents in Alexander County. For fiscal year 2011, the veteran, veteran population was 2,932, which was down 21 from 2010. Total Veterans Affairs expenditures for Alexander County was up $2 million from 2010. In 2012, the County Commissioners approved formation of the Alexander County Veterans Committee with representatives from both VFW Post, American Legion, and DAV, along with Alexander County Schools, clergy, and citizens to further support and recognize our veterans. 
Through the committee, we have started to record veterans' stories of their experience in the military. We have completed one set, which is four DVDs, and have interviewed 20 veterans. This is an ongoing project and has been well received. The Veterans Office Hours in Bethlehem Library on Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. continue to provide the convenience of veteran services to the res residents in the Bethlehem area. In 2012, our veteran service officer completed training and received accreditation as a veteran service officer from the North Carolina DAV, as well as the American Legion. Due to the slow economy and other reasons, more people want to grow more of their own food. Cooperative Extension in Alexander County addressed this problem in many ways in 2012. Through various workshops, field teaching demonstrations, school and daycare projects, festival and school trip educational stations, through expanding their local community gardens, Cooperative Extension has enabled county residents to grow more of their own local foods. The Alexander County Partnership for Children has been a great partner in reaching many of these needy audiences. Also, Extension Master Gardeners have assisted with several of these projects by way of constructing raised beds and through teaching children the importance of gardening. All local agents of the Alexander County Extension staff have contributed to this needy objective in 2012. Through these efforts, over 1,000 individuals in Alexander County were educated on at least one aspect of gardening in 2012. Also, well of over $12,000 worth of local produce was grown through cooperative extension projects in 2012 to assist in fresh, nutritious produce for the home table, which was sold at the local farmers markets. Poultry growers in Al Ardell, Alexander, and Wilkes Counties have been assisted by the area poultry agent to properly manage the litter produced on their farms. In 2012, 93 growers were able to realize a cost savings of $372,328 in commercial fertilizer cost by utilizing poultry litter as a nutrient source for crops grown on their farms. Growers were assisted in litter analysis, soil testing, and crop nutrient requirements. 7,919 acres of crop land and 24,317 tons of litter were analyzed and applied uh, in an environmentally friendly manner. Extension ed educators were constantly looking for ways to help the farmers in reduce input cost. North Carolina Cooperative Extension in Iredale, Alexander, and Wilkes County is collaborating with poultry extension specialists at North Carolina State, Duke Energy, and Case Foods of Morganton on lighting trial looking at ways to help boiler growers reduce the high production input of electricity. The lighting trial involves evaluating the, the use of three different types of LED bulbs and their effects on broiler growth. Energy efficiency and bulb longevity, LED bulbs are felt to be more cost effective than standard fluorescent bulb light bulbs more commonly used in poultry houses. The trial is ongoing and data will be collected over a four flock grow out schedule. Alexander County is a small rural county made up largely of cattle and poultry. Cattle farms average 35 head of cattle and consist of three or more locations where cattle are grazed. Previously, many tobacco farmers with smaller fields converted the fields to pasture when they left tobacco production. Consequently, many, many cattle producers today have cattle dispersed and do not have working facilities at each location. It is extremely cost prohibitive to, to maintain cattle facilities at each cattle location. Each year, cattle producers forgo an estimated $70 per calf at marketing due to lack of vaccination and castration, possibly totaling over $2,400 per year. Alexander County Cooperative Extension assisted the Alexander County Cattlemen's Association in successfully writing a grant for $10,000. This was used to purchase a portable corral facility to be accessed by the Alexander County cattle producers. The system will allow them to process their calves and ensure that they see the profit from their calves. Recycling numbers continue to climb upward here in Alexander County. 
Alexander County is ranked now 18th in the state for its per capita recycling rate of 172 pounds per person per year. That is a long way from 2003 when we were ranked number 76 and were recycling only 55 pounds per person. This can partially be contributed to a lot of new and exciting recycling options that are now available. Citizens can now recycle electronics, household batteries, fluorescent bulbs, waste cooking oil, oil filters, and eyeglasses, along with many other items. The department is partnered with Cell Phones for Soldiers, a charity that takes money made from recycling cell phones and buys calling cards for the men and women serving our country. The Alexander County School System continues to prove its recycling program. Last year, the school system cut back by 80, 873 dumpster pickups compared to the base year of 2008. Alexander County averaged exporting 1,790 tons of garbage per month in fiscal year 2007. We are now averaged, averaging 1,375 tons per month. Some of this can be attributed to the economic downturn, but the bottom line is trash numbers are down and recycling numbers are up. The Solid Waste Office continues to attack illegal dumping, cleaning up almost 100 dump sites or complaints in 2012. Rocky Face Mountain Recreation Area opened in May of 2012. The 318-acre park is located in the northeastern section of Alexander County along Rocky Face Church Road at the site of the former quarry. Construction of the park was funded by North Carolina Parks and Recreation Trust Fund grant and the match for these funds came from the pro park property itself, which was donated to the Alexander County by the Carolina Land and Lakes Resource Conservation and Development District. The first phase of this park project included approximately three miles of hiking trails, a one third mile ADA compliant walking track, picnic shelter, restrooms, and a parking area for visitors. Visitors, this is Alexander County's first passive recreation park, and in less than one year, the county passed the 13,000 visitor mark. A number of exciting highlights were held at Rocky Face Park in 2012. The Wild Ride was held on August 25, 2012, and the Hidden Night Festival Trail Race was September 22, 2012. There were a number of guided nature hikes, history hikes, sunset hikes, and Al Prowls. School students from West Middle School and East Alexander Middle School also hiked at Rocky Face. New rock climbing hardware was also installed. A new trail was established on the west side of the mountain, Prison Camp Trail. Our basketball season just concluded. We had 95 total teams participate countywide ranging from five to 16 years old. We hosted the nine 10 year old old Western Youth Athletic Association tournament at the new Wittenberg School. We are now just beginning our spring season, which is softball, baseball, and soccer. We have a total of 76 softball, baseball teams and 15 soccer teams, which will be participating the spring season. Over the last year, we have made some upgrades to some of the, our parks. Dusty Ridge, we have paid the parking lot or in the process of lotting one of the ball fields and have also put up poly cap on top of all the fencing. Each park have installed a batting cage. JC Park, we have put up new basketball goals and also poly cap on top of all the fencing. The Alexander County Senior Center celebrated its 20th anniversary in 2012. County residents over the age of 65 increased from 11.9% in 2000 to 15.8% in 2012. Our wonderful senior center staff served over 440 persons last fall with their Part D drug plans and were able to save over $310,000. The following are some of the services we have for the seniors. Free tax pep preparation through AARP, safe driving classes through AARP, hearing tests through the North Carolina Division of Services for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, blood pressure checks through the Alexander Health County Health Department, flu shots during the annual health fair, Blue Ridge Community Action accepts applicants for their elderly weather station program, seminars on new to Medicare, how to prevent Medicare fraud, and how to read your Medicare summary notice are offered almost every month. 
DSS assists seniors in signing up for the LIEAP program, heating assistance for the winter. Uh, the Alexander County Tax Office assists seniors in available elderly property tax discounts. Art classes are offered at CDCC. Computer classes at East, East Tailsville Baptist Church. The Alexander County Soil and Water Conservation District Office believes that the key to effective lifelong resource management is to increase the community's environmental awareness through environmental education. The Alexander County SWCD EE coordinator, Leslie Meadows, has officially completed environmental educator certification through the North Carolina Office of EE, a department of Diener. Leslie oversees a variety of ongoing EE programs within the county school system in hopes of hit instilling a strong environmental land ethic and sense of stewardship at a young age. Fifth and sixth grade environmental field days, out of doors experience rotating to eight different environmental stations throughout the Payne Dairy Farm, held October 16th and 18th, 2012. First year that a similar day of EE station rotation and hike was held for uh, East Alexander County Middle Schools, sixth graders at the new Rocky Face Park November 2nd, 2012. Alexander, Alexander Central High School GIS Day held November 14, 2012. Leslie and Pamela provided an informational booth demonstrating ways we use GIS software at the Soil and Water Conservation District Conservation Planning and Resources Management. County third graders were invited to attend this year as well. Theme contest season, visit school and delivers presentations on the current year's environmental topic corresponding with school curriculums. Includes fifth grade posters, sixth grade essay, seventh and eighth grade speech, as well as two new technology-based contests. Sixth grade computer slideshow, ninth grade digital poster entries. County winners go on to complete at the area and state levels annual Soil Water and Conservation District Awards Banquet, which was held April 9, 2013 at Davis Hall at the Tales of First Baptist Church. Northwest Envirathon Outdoor Team Competition, incorporating study skills and critical thinking with hands-on activities, involves presentations by area environmental specialists and taking multiple choice tests in various EE subjects, including ID and best management practices skills. Leslie Meadows was a co-chair in charge of orchestrating this year's event held March 26, 2013 at the McGee Center in Wilkesboro. ACHS has a team advancing to the state and marathon competition April 19th and 20, 20th in Burlington. Resource Conservation Workshop. Each year our district sponsors a high school student interested in an environmental career path to a week of an intensive study and coursework at North Carolina State University. Testing at the end of the week can result in monetary awards and scholarships towards college. Currently accepting application for this year's event to be held June 23rd, 29th, 2013. And also continue to research and apply for e-grant opportunities. Currently working with ACHS Science Department on a Learning Outside the Box grant and hope to procure funding from the Catawba Valley Community Foundation to partner with the Rocky Face Park in increasing EE opportunities within the park. Also available to soil and water conservation district programs which provide technical assistance and advice in long-term conservation planning involves distributing cost share funds to aid landowners in implementing sound conservation practices on their properties. Between 2012 and 2013, Alexander County Soil and Water Conservation District and Natural Resources Conservation Services have received $504,797 in cost share technical funds for several projects in Alexander County. And lastly, we would like to make mention of our Voluntary Farmland Preservation Program. The program encourages voluntary preservation and protection of farmland from non-farm development, increased protection from nuisance suits, and other negative impacts on properly managed farms. Approximate enrollment totals 8,510 acres. 
the VAD board and uh, district's soil and water conservation staff are currently working to re-enroll members who have reached the end of their 10-year agreement. Developing a countywide farmland protection plan is an ongoing in initiative for this program. Tax collections for tax year 2012 remain pretty much consistent to this point with tax year 2011. We anticipate little or no growth in property tax value as we look forward to tax year 2013. There continues to be very little new residential construction, almost no new commercial construction, and even the construction of new poultry houses, which we have relied on for growth in the past few years, has sharply decreased. Work on the 2015 reevaluation is about to start. A contract has been awarded and workspace for the on-site staff is being prepared in the former Chamber of Commerce office. This process will take approximately one and a half years with tax bills based on new values to be mailed in August 2015. Preparation for implementation of House Bill 1779 has been the major emphasis of the tax office staff for the last three to four months. House Bill 1779 is legislation passed by the North Carolina General Assembly in 2005, which combines the billing and paying of motor vehicle property tax bills with the renewal of license plates. Implementation of this process has, has been delayed twice, but is set to go into effect on vehicles scheduled for registration renewal in July of 2013. This process is promoted by the powers to be in North Carolina government to give the counties a 100% collection rate on all motor vehicles that renew their registration. However, as usually is the case with programs implemented by state government, counties will be charged back costs associated with the new pro process, such as billing costs, mailing costs, credit debit card payment fees. The total amount of costs to be charged to the counties is still somewhat vague. And since the property tax values are paid directly to the North Carolina Department of Motor Vehicles, the state will, be re, will have the responsibility for dispersing these monies back to the counties. This means that the net effect on total motor vehicle property tax revenues remains vague and only time will tell if the change in pr procedures as it relates to motor vehicle taxes will be positive for the counties. The new process will also create some public relations issues with the taxpayers to both the tax office and the county operated license plate agency as the public adjusts to the new schedules and procedures. The fund balance of Alexander County General Fund improved to 29.49% as of June 30th, 2012, which is in line with the average fund balance from comparably sized counties. The local government Com commission continues to recommend maintaining this level of fund balance to do several things. Number one, finance operations during periods of declining revenues, two, address emergencies and unexpected expenditures, and three, take advantage of financial opportunities such as grants with local match requirements. The county has se several new debt issues since last year. Number one, last fall the county signed a promissory note for $1,691,000 to purchase two buildings and approximately 24 acres of land near C the CC Alexander Center. The first of these three annual debt service payments was made October 2012. The first of three annual debt service payments was made in October 2012. Number two, the county refinanced two school debt agreements as of March 31, 2013. The estimated interest savings over the remaining term of the loans was almost $400,000. Number three, we are in the middle of the process to refinance the Bethlehem Water District 2003 refunding bonds. Net savings of approximately $41,000 is expected over the remaining term of the bonds. Number four, the county has received approval from North Carolina Diener for approximately $3.2 million of interest-free loan funds from the North Carolina Drinking Water State Revolving Fund for water system improvements. The county is waiting for approval from the local government commission in hopes to receive a loan repayment schedule of 20 years. The school hold harmless provision for sales tax revenue continues to result in Alexander County setting aside more money for the school system's share of Article 42 sales tax than the county actually receives from Article 42. 
the amount budgeted for the school to hold harmless in 2012-2013 is approximately $100,000. Counties receive their share of local sales taxes each month and as of March 2013 distribution, the county portion of total sales tax revenue has increased 1.4% compared to the same time last year. Some of the local sales taxes were not part of the state's action in 2019 to change the allocation method to local governments. Article 39, one cent sales tax, Article 40, half percent sales tax, and Article 46, quarter cent sales tax are three local sales taxes that are still made the same allocation method. As of March 2013 distribution, the county's portion of these three sales tax articles is up by 1.5% over the same time last year. In closing, Alexander County continues to deal with the economic pressure of our stagnated economy. The challenges of the Alexander County budget will continue to be highly stressed. Our budget will feel the impact of health care reform, reform, the Alexander County Law Enforcement and Detention Center, first full year of operation costs, state budget reductions, and more. We pledge to continue to do our best for the taxpayers of Alexander County. Thank you to my fellow commissioners and our county employees and the citizens of Alexander County. I would also like to thank the many volunteers who have given their valuable time to make Alexander County a great place to live, work, and play. May God bless you as we move ahead in 2013, and may God bless America. Thank you.